Hello everyone, this is Officer Ali. In this video, we're gonna see how we can send an email using Gmail API, uh, where uh, we'll be sending with the attachment, with a text uh, body, and, uh, and the body as a HTML uh, file as well. Okay, so in the last uh, session, we discussed how we'll send HTML as an attachment, but in this case, uh, what we'll be doing, whatever you see, in this uh, HTML file, that will come uh, as a body of the email, all right? Uh, the whole thing, not only the attachment, but also the body as this HTML file, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so in the Eclipse, uh, I already created one method called create HTML email body with attachment, all right? So if I expand that, you can see, uh, we are creating properties, then sessions, then MIME session. These are the same as earlier videos. All right. So in here, a little bit uh, different uh, than other uh, method that we already created. All right. So here I am sending for multiple users, not only the one uh, person that I'm sending, I'm sending with the multiple email IDs here. Uh, so I'll be sending with a comma separated all the emails in two, all right, within a string, but with the comma separated. So what it will do, it will just uh, try to send or append those emails based on that uh, comma, and it will send to all those email ID, all right. And the next part that we will be using is multi-part. Here we'll be using as a mixed, all right. So this is most important because if we are sending in in the body itself hold HTML, so we'll, we need to use a mix because we are using uh, HTML as a body and also we are sending uh, HTML as attachment as well, right? So it's kind of like mixed. So yeah, you need to use this mixed here. Then the second thing is HTML body. So in this, case the HTML body part all right so here what I'll, we'll be doing is we'll be setting the context of HTML uh, body so what exactly will be uh, giving here this HTML as a text all right what, what do I mean by HTML text so for example I have this HTML file all right so the whole file I'm not sending and I'll be sending the text of that so what uh, that mean? So that means uh, the, this format, uh, this HTML head, uh, then table. So whatever you see here, this thing I'm sending uh, within that uh, as a text. So everything will be as a text. So if I just copy from here, copy uh, outer HTML, I think. So yeah, so if you copy these and uh, you know, uh, we need to use in here as HTML text and you can see HTML as a string format. So you can just pass that uh, as a string and that will be done. And here you need to use a car set UTF minus eight to parse those things, all right? And add body part. So add body part, HTML part. So this is the one uh, more important thing that you need to do is here the zero, zero means the first position. So the uh, the multi part is work something like, um, it, it's kind of like array kind of. So the first, uh, if I put the zero, then the body will be the first one. And if I put one, then it will be the second one, all right? So here you can see the HTML attachment would be the second. That means it will attach in the below of that HTML. So if I go to here, my documentation. So this text, in place of text, it will come my HTML body, right here, and this uh, attachment would be the second. If I put here, uh, here one and here zero, then that means the HTML uh, attachment would be first, and the second would be my uh, this HTML body. All right. So this is the one thing we need to uh, take care. So we can also add multiple things as well, right? So it's not only two things, we can have multiple things, but it will be uh, coming as a different, different parts, all right? So yeah, 
And this particular uh, method that we'll be calling in somewhere else. Uh, okay, so the next part is, uh, as I said, this is the, as usual, the result.html I'm attaching. All right, so th this would be the same. And I'm returning this my message. All right, so now uh, the most important thing here is how we'll get uh, the HTML text. All right. So how we'll get the text of this HTML thing, how to do this, all right? We can't go and manually, uh, you know, uh, get those texts and pass it here, all right? So in, in this case, I'm using uh, a third party uh, library called JSOUP. So if I go to Maven MBN repository, and I should see JSOUP. So what it will do, it will parse the HTML file. Okay, it's a HTML parser. And let's uh, use the latest one. All right, so if I go to pom.xml and just add that dependency here. All right, so it will install that JSOUP uh, in my machine and I should be able to pass my HTML file, this HTML uh, file, and I can get the uh, text of those, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the source code, you can say. All right, so this is being installed. The next thing that I need to do is, I'll just create another method here, uh, public static. Void as uh, send email with HTML body and attachment. This is the horrific name. Okay, so fine. So the next thing that we'll be doing is we need to uh, use a JSOUP and parse the HTML, right? Okay, so I use this JSOUP, uh, you can see uh, here, HTML parse. Uh, and we have JSOUP.parse and I'm passing the result.html file. All right, and then UTF-8, uh, the format to parse and I'm saving as a uh, document. So it's a whole document object. Now you can see the whole uh, document of this, I mean this HTML file uh, save as a, and it parse into uh, a object, doc object, right? Then after that, uh, I do have something called get element by tag name. So here, if I get the element by tag name, so if I get with the HTML, within those HTML tag, whatever present, you can get all of them as a elements uh, object, right? So in the elements object, whatever you see, first dot HTML. So dot HTML, it will give you the string format, you can see. Retrieve the elements inner HTML. So we wanted the inner HTML of uh, that so tags dot first then uh, it will give us all the inner html so that means we do have everything in between html tags so then we need to add a html tag here because we now know only within the html whatever we do have this head and body all right all the inner htmls but we need to add HTML because we removed here already. All right, so I added, so this is my complete HTML inner, uh, inner HTML code, you can say, or source code. All right, so this is my HTML body. Now, uh, everything that I wanted, or uh, I parsed it. Maybe uh, there are uh, many other ways you can also do the same thing, all right? So yeah, so this is how I have done. And now let's uh, use this, create HTML body. All right. So the first thing is I need to 
use here sorry let's uh, add all the imports uh, first is uh, two and then subject uh, two as i said it's a uh, comma separated and maybe i can just rally 273@gmail.com and abc@gmail.com you can send to anyone uh, n number of uh, users you can send now because we are using the comma separated right and then we do have uh, i think it's a subject line subject Test. All right. Then I think we do have HTML. All right. So then we do have HTML. Uh, this thing I just need to pass here HTML text. Right. That's fine. And this is uh, path of the file, I think. Okay. HTML report path. Uh, okay so what we can do path of the html uh, result.html all right so this is result.html uh, okay so before this we need to use uh, gmail services as well all right uh, if you expand this i can just see uh, like this all right and maybe I can just reuse the same thing. Just need to replace some. All right, so Gmail services, add throw catch, okay. Then this one, we can just replace with this, all right? Other thing would be same. all right so this is we created the method and that will send our html result all right so let's see whether this works or not if i just call this method in the main method all right just replace the previous and let's see whether this works or not so when i run it uh, I, I can see uh, it's being sent already. All right. So now let's check it uh, in 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 the email whether this is uh, sending the email or not. So yeah, you can see here this is the first one, and boom, we can see this is the HTML body, and this is my uh, the attachment, right? So. Uh, you can see both and you can also add m as many as uh, multi parts all right and make sure uh, your attachment should not be more than 50 mb i believe there is uh, some restriction when you attach it i believe yeah so you need to uh, make sure uh, it is not more than that so yeah we can also see here we are sending to multiple i don't know whether it's uh, abc is a valid or not so i just sent to abc at gmail.com and to this so you can also add as many as uh, you know users over here or emails here right so yeah this is how we'll and i'll send uh, i'll just uh, uh, put the github link in in the video descriptions if you have any questions uh, please uh, do comment right so yeah thanks for watching See you in the next time. Bye for now.